guten Abend zusammen und herzlich willkommen. Good evening to all of you and welcome to our press conference after our 2 0 victory against Newcastle United. With me here on stage is our manager Edin Terzic. And first of all, I'd like to hear your statement. Good evening to all of you. I think it was a well-deserved victory, a very good performance of the whole team. Also, individual performance was really good. Everybody played for the team. We managed to win twice against Newcastle. That were their only two defeats uh, in the last 13 matches. And uh, every time with a clean sheet, that was a very well-executed performance for us. And that, therefore, we are very happy today, very content, but we know that the seven points that we have for now in the group are not enough to go into the round of last 16. So this was one first step, but the, we need another few steps. Thank you. Edin will answer your English questions in English, German questions in German. Edin, please allow me uh, to look back a little bit. You talked about the good performance, so what weighs more today? Uh, are you happy about the good performance today or angry about the bad performance last Saturday? Yeah, we know that what happened on last Saturday, we can't uh, repair that with a good uh, victory in the Champions League, but what it's all about is to take the right lesson Uh, that's what we were talking about the uh, last few days, how we managed, how we dealt with the defeat on last Saturday. So I think we can be content with the performance today, but we know it's a different competition. And now a very important match is awaiting us against Stuttgart in the Bundesliga. And uh, we want to continue like uh, we finished today. Is this a process of maturity that you went through during the last few weeks, few months? Uh, that you react uh, more quickly? Well, we still have to prove that. Uh, I think you guys are too quick uh, in one direction or the other direction. It's only one victory. So I said we need to prove that against, uh, again. I said uh, yesterday in the press conference that not only we want to learn from the last match, but also from the last season where we lost uh, two matches in a row uh, last season and put ourselves in a bad situation. So, in this sense, it was a good step forward, but the next step waits next Saturday in Stuttgart. Hello, Edin. You gave the chance to Karim Adeyemi today to play in the starting 11. Um, I saw a very uh, enthusiastic and engaged player. How did you see him? Fortunately, Karim showed today the performance that he showed to us in uh, training and practice uh, during the last few weeks. He didn't have an easy start into the season. And then it's all about to work hard, be patient and and get back into the team and that's what he showed during practice sessions but nonetheless he didn't manage to have that influence on our game that he had today and that is something that not only we wish of him but we demand of him and the spaces that he could use very well today those spaces were also open 13 days ago in England and he didn't use them very well there but today he showed a very good game in all directions not only in the offense where he was dangerous, but he also helped out in the defense to close those spaces. And then he also um, had the assist uh, for the 2-0 of Julian Brandt. And uh, yeah, Karim always uh, marched those counter-attacks for us normally. And today he prepared the counter-attack. And that's why we're ha very happy with his performance today. Maybe you can describe again uh, which elements of your game, uh, which elements you prefer today in comparison to last Saturday. Well, first of all, on Saturday, we disappointed many, many people in the stadium and on the TV screens. And today, we knew that we couldn't uh, repair everything, but some things. And, and we knew that uh, we have to ignite the enthusiasm on the pitch. And uh, I think we managed that quite well. I think we had a lot of control from the start on with possession, with good positioning. We created many good chances. 
And at the same time, we managed, except for the one chance of Joey Linton, to keep the opponent away from our own goal. Um, we also defended the set pieces very well. And also in a match in Newcastle in the second half, we managed to, to profit, to benefit of those uh, transition moments. And uh, we didn't manage so good in Newcastle. And today it was way better. That's why the match in Newcastle was, was more open open than it was today, I think. This was the first uh, goal of Niklas Füllkrug in the Champions League. He's a quite experienced uh, professional player and uh, has a lot of confidence also. But do you think that the fact that he scored in this competition uh, will raise his confidence even more so that he scores on a more regular basis? Well, that's what we hope and what we wish for, of course, that we have a nine who not only scores in the Bundesliga and the Cup games, but also in the Champions League. And it's uh, not the fact that uh, Füllkrug plays for years and years in the Champions League. It was only his third match in Champions League. So it did him very good, uh, very well, excuse me. Uh, it's always good for a striker to score. But I think it was not only that he pushed the ball over the line for his first goal. No, he kept many balls in uh, the opponent's half. Uh, um, I think in the second for the second goal, I think he was also the player who received the throw in. And um, well, we had many of those one on ones uh, that we didn't like last Saturday, but today it was way better. Then there was Marcel, Marcel Sabitzer in the box, and he knew that there would be someone on the first post, and uh, Fuller did a great job today. Oliver, noch mal. A more general question, when you look at the away match in Newcastle and the match today, tonight, then uh, I would say you had a lot of intensity in both matches, uh, uh, collective intensity, but also individual intensity. I had the feeling that every player was ready to go to the limit. Is it possible to demand that of a team in every match? Yes, when it's demanded, uh, we always demand that, of course, we want to play a complete football as possible, as, as complete as possible. We want to be solid when the opponent has the ball. We want to have as much possession as possible. We want to stand high. And for that, you need all those elements. And sometimes you need more intensity, more um, hard one-on-ones, uh, a little bit more patience maybe. And this is a process that we want to go as a team, that we become a very complete team. Hi, Eden. Eddie Howes said he's frustrated and disappointed that you haven't seen the best version of Newcastle during the two games. Would you agree with that and how would you assess Newcastle over those two matches? I think this is a great achievement for us because I think we, we didn't let it happen. We knew about the quality, especially up front. Um, they are very flexible, they are very mobile. They, they can swap between four at the back, three at the back. They are always looking for balls in behind. They are always looking for balls into the pockets, in between the lines. And this is something that we try to stop. And um, this is something that we managed quite well, especially today in Newcastle. In the second half, it was a very dominant game from Newcastle. But I think today we, we, we defended well. We attacked really well. We used every space. Um, we opened spaces for us. I think it was a well-deserved win and it's a great achievement for us and a great compliment for our team that we kept a clean sheet for two times against Newcastle. This is something that not many teams uh, are, are quite managed to do it and so we are really happy with both games. You've now recorded two victories over a high-profile Premier League club. There's been a lot of coverage about you in that time. Is returning to the Premier League, you're there with West Ham, of course, is returning to the Premier League something you would like to do as a manager one day? I'm so happy to be at, at a, such a big club on this level uh, with BVB. And, um, you know, there is so much to do and we are still not done yet. And uh, until we are not done yet and until they have the feeling that I'm the right man to get the best out of the team, this is the only focus that I have. Gibt es noch eine abschließende Frage? 
Do you have another question, a last question? Edin, uh, you only substituted twice today, although you had other options. Uh, did you think uh, that the 11 that were on the pitch, did it do that well that you wanted to uh, keep the others off the pitch in, in order to get them some rest also? Yeah, that's one point, but at the same time also I thought that we were very good into the match and we were dangerous in front of their goal and we had a lot of control over their attacks so then uh, speaking from experience when you create uh, yeah, kind of uh, chaos uh, in the last few minutes for the substitution, maybe the referee uh, let's play even longer and uh, I think uh, we, it wasn't necessary today, in between the 17th and the 80th minute I thought that maybe we lost a little bit of energy but then we had those two three moments where we got our energy back and i think on every position we were really well into the match and that's why we didn't think it was necessary to do another substitution thank you very much edin thank you all for coming and have a safe trip back home thank you very much bye bye